speaking, this immigration obviously was a big this week with what happened with the Supreme Court. It was a huge blow to Obama's uh, executive action uh, policies, effectively blocking the programs for the rest of his uh, time in office. What is your reaction to that ruling? Were you surprised by it? And what impact do you think it was going to have here in the election? Um, I think it will probably help Donald Trump. I mean, the Brexit election, it wasn't about it, it wasn't about the trade deals. They can make the trade deals they want to make. Brexit was about immigration. Trump is about immigration. And it's not about not liking immigrants. Nobody's out immigranting me, especially with the Muslims. Uh, the point is, they are, these are people who are already here. It isn't liking Muslims or liking Hispanics. It's do we take care of the people who already live here? And, and bringing in more and more immigrants, and um, no, he is not the deporter in chief. I know this is very big at the Huffington Post. What they did is they redefined what counts as a deportation. Um, up until Obama, a deportation meant you were in the country, they caught you and deported you. Obama started counting, turning them away at the border. Well, okay, this is like changing the grade. A passing grade is now going to be 40 instead of 70. And look at all the kids who have passed. Um, so they changed the definition of deportation. Um, look, the immigrants who are already here are going to be a big part of the vote for Trump. They are the ones whose wages are being driven down. It's not you. It's not me. Um, it's probably not a lot of people in this audience. No, to the contrary, you're very happy because you get such cheap mates. Um, and they're so docile. Uh, and you have your chef. And you, even in LA, you have pool boys, even if you don't have a pool. No, this idea that you are the ones who are speaking for low-wage workers is preposterous. These low-wage workers would like a little less competition for their jobs. It is stunning how the very rich have gotten so much richer, so much richer, and wages, especially for the working class, have been flat for 20 years. Well, they'd like their wages to go up. If we're going to bring in more immigrants, I want them competing with senators, congressmen, journalists, TV pundits, lawyers, not competing with, you know, the guy who does your landscaping. This idea that, you know, you get to bring in all these poor people um, doing low-wage work. Yeah, it's good for them, and it's good for the rich people who hire them. <laughs> but don't strut around like you're Martin Luther King. This is good for you. It's bad for your mate. 